welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video so today I'm gonna to be doing my updated favorite drugstore foundations video now I did one really long ago and I feel like that one is so outdated because a lot of the foundations I used then I don't use now so yeah let's just get into this video now I'm gonna start from like the lower price range and work my way up and just kind of tell you guys my basic thoughts on these foundations and um, stuff like that so the first foundation I'm going to be talking about today is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Polish. This is in the shade 332. Now I really, really do enjoy wearing this foundation. The reason why I don't use this on camera much is because it tends to run a little bit more on the olive side. Even though in person it looks completely fine on my skin once I bronze and contour and highlight and all that stuff. But on camera it really picks up the olive tones and it tends to make me look a little ashy on camera. Brown girl problems. If you're a brown girl and you're a YouTuber, sometimes you know the struggle of these foundations flashing back and playing us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is what the foundation looks like. On the back of my hand right now, especially on camera, it's looking pretty yellow, but don't ask me why on my face it plays me. But it's a really, really good consistency. I would say it's medium to full coverage. And I mean, for 100 Rand, this foundation is really really good i'm not really sure what the price is going to change to considering that increase and all that stuff but i'm just going to tell you guys the prices that i bought them at so you more or less know the price range you should expect if they have indeed incurred increases next foundation i'm going to be talking about is the rimmel match perfection foundation this is in the shade 502 noisette and this is a little bit darker than my actual skin tone but it works really really well on the skin this is a bit more of a hydrating foundation so it definitely gives you a more dewy look and if you are oily I would say stay away from this but if you don't really mind the dewy look of foundations then I highly recommend this one it is really stunning and the coverage is amazing also, this foundation is about 130 Rand if I'm not mistaken, so it's pretty much on the affordable side and it's really good quality. The next foundation is also from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation with Comfort Serum and I have the shade Nutmeg. This foundation is a little bit more thicker in consistency than the Rimmel one and this one is more, dries down to a more, I want to say, I want to say satin but it's more of like a natural finish than anything else so this is really nice coverage again is amazing this shade matches me so well it's redonkulous and again I think this one is also about 130 Rand as well moving on to LA girl one of my favorite foundations now I am an oily girl but I really really enjoy using this foundation I'm actually like almost hitting halfway I don't know if you guys can even tell but yeah, I'm almost halfway on this foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Illuminating Foundation in the shade Bronze. The coverage of this foundation, it is so lightweight. And the coverage is amazing. And I really like my foundation to look like skin. And I really don't mind the illuminating properties of this foundation because... I like the way it looks on my skin, but if you're an oily girl and you really don't like dewy foundations, stay away from this one, definitely. Um, but this is such a good foundation. It's very liquidy, but it does not lack on coverage. I'm waiting for them to bring their matte foundations into South Africa so I can review that for you guys. And again, this foundation... Is about 175 Rand if I'm not mistaken moving on to the next foundation which is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation this is in the shade caramel now I noticed they are gradually bringing in all the shades into South Africa I don't know why they just didn't bring all the shades in at once but this is a really really good foundation it lasts pretty much the entire day the coverage is 
you guys i have to say from all the foundations that i will ever be talking about in today's video if you re repackage this and put it in a higher end foundation bottle i would be convinced that it was high end this is such a good foundation the formula there's just something about the formula that kind of has me sold on this foundation it is definitely full coverage and i am just like i i have nothing but good things to say about this foundation it lasts such a good amount of time and i just I, i'm shook i'm shook a lot of people are comparing it to huda full Fulta, and i kind of want to get my hands on huda full Fulta just so i can compare it to the maybelline superstay like the hype behind this foundation is real trust me it's real and obviously if i have any reviews with regards to these foundations i'll leave them up in the cards so you guys can go ahead and see what my thoughts are on these foundations obviously i'll be clarifying using this video if i was sitting on the fence in those videos and the last foundation which is probably the most expensive foundation from the drugstore is the black opal true color foundation stick this is what it looks like i have the shade rich caramel i believe this is one of the lighter shades but they are coming out with even more lighter shades to cater for lighter skin people as well and i think this is about i want to say a hundred and 165 rand or so if i'm not mistaken and it's a really really good color match as you guys can see it's a stick foundation so very very full coverage i mean i am absolutely obsessed another really really good color match it's like almost blending into my actual skin it looks so nice on the skin so natural it almost feels like a second skin um but again coverage is really really amazing and this foundation is really, really nice. I generally gravitate towards this in the more colder months or on colder days when my skin is feeling very dry. And I generally like to mix it with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I've seen Jaclyn Hill mix her, mix her stick foundations with liquid foundations. And I promise you, it's like a winning combination. I mean, by themselves, they're a bomb. But together, they're even amazing. It's ridiculous. And that is it for my current favorite drugstore foundations. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of foundations on the drugstore I have not tried yet. So if there's any foundations that you guys specifically love, comment down below and let me know what it is that you love. And do you like any of the products that I mentioned here today? Or are you keen to try any of them? Comment down below, let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with and without makeup and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye